Every single time that I've tried to record this, some stupid has happened. Either my video gets corrupted, or my audio gets corrupted, or some other mixture of nonsense involving me not pressing the record button on the camera, and we're just not gonna talk about that. Let's just pass by it like I didn't even say it. But today, today people, I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna make it through. We're gonna get these reviews done, finally. And we're gonna move on with our lives. Whew, strap in and let's get started. So today we're gonna to be reviewing two products from Athletic Alliance at the same time. And before we start, uh, I apologize if I happen to sound a little different than normal. Usually I would take sips of water between takes and cuts and stuff like that, but I happen to be doing a water cut in preparation to see how my body handles it for a bodybuilding show that I'm gonna be doing in July. If you guys care about that, comment section, let me know, and maybe I'll give you guys some updates and maybe even a video about it, we'll see. Point is, I am hella parched and I'm pretty much out of water by this point in time of the day, so can't really refresh myself at all. So excuse me if I sound a little off, but I digress. Today we're talking about two Athletic Alliance products because they sent me some products and I really wanted to talk about them. So uh, there are two here that I have. The first one is Hydro Pro, which I've talked about before on the channel. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw the link up into the corner now, uh, but this is a different flavor. And so kind of wanted to address it just because it is a little bit different than the bunch and a unique flavor amongst a lot of protein companies. Uh, so it's it's worth talking about, I think, especially given how I feel about it, which we'll get to. The second one is Sandman and Sandman is a sleep aid. And if you don't know how important sleep is to muscle building, recovery, and the general progress you're gonna get from your workouts, then we have a much longer conversation and perhaps a whole video to do on it. We'll see. Again, comment section. But first, let's talk about Hydro Pro. So, most of you guys already know how I feel about it because of the other review I did. I very much like them. I'm lactose intolerant myself, and so a lot of times when I'm doing these reviews, I have to take a lactose pill in order to actually drink these proteins. In this particular case, I don't have to worry about that. It's beautiful. I can just drink the protein, enjoy it, go about my day feeling good, having gotten my protein intake up a little bit, and just move on like nothing happened, and that is beautiful. That's thanks to the fact that these guys not only pull out as much sugar as humanly possible, which is where the lactose is going to be, by the way, in case you didn't know. Uh, so they pull out as much sugar as possible from the protein when they're actually making it, and then they go through the trouble of also adding the lactase enzyme into the powder as well. So if there's any remaining lactose that may not play well with your system, it's taken care of. That's fantastic. And I think it's something like 65% of the human population is lactose intolerant. We're the vast majority. And protein companies don't really look out for us like that. That's a little weak. I mean, given the numbers, we can agree. That's weak, right? Anyhow. I like that about the, pro the product. They also add in protease, which helps with the digestion of the actual protein as well. Uh, that's another thing that can help with the absorbability and the overall usage of the product in your system, which is going to make for a much better experience, a much more high quality protein drinking experience. But all that's true about the other flavors, the vanilla and the chocolate and all that. The one that I wanna talk about today, the caramel coffee. This slaps, bro. It slaps, it's so good. Now, to give you an idea as to what you're kind of playing with when it comes to the flavor and why it works so well, I don't happen to be a huge fan of coffee flavor. I know, oh my God, just don't crucify me. I'm just trying to live, all right? We exist, us minorities, who want to live our lives without being persecuted for not liking the flavor of coffee, okay? I'm not gonna apologize for it but I do know it's not exactly the majority decision. Point being that 
when it comes to caramel coffee and the idea of coffee flavor being in there, some people might be turned off by it. And I'm here to tell you that if you are not a fan of coffee flavor, this is actually not playing the coffee forward as much as you think it is. In fact, the caramel is the much more forward flavor. It actually is more caramel forward, which balances out the coffee kind of bitterness you might be expecting from it. And it also helps tame the sweetness some. So it manages to keep the whole flavor profile very balanced and honestly make for an extremely delicious experience. So it's super creamy and it's got this really great balanced flavor to it. Now, just because it's creamy doesn't mean that it's a thick protein. It still manages to maintain its original texture, which is fantastic. So you get to win on both ends there. It's it's a huge win on both sides. And so with a dope flavor like that, I, I it's hard not to love this particular protein. Now, pro tip for all y'all who don't know out there, they actually have a secret flavor that I feel like they either aren't executing on or just aren't telling nobody about, or maybe I've discovered it and nobody else is talking about it. But here's what it is. Do about a two to one ratio of chocolate to caramel coffee. Both flavors from Athletic Alliance. Tell me that doesn't go extra hard. Go ahead, do it and tell me it's not an absolutely fire combination because it's incredible but i don't want to gush too long off of this product i know i want to keep this somewhat manageable time wise so next thing that's up here sandman now sandman is a product meant like i said at the beginning to help you with sleep and like i said sleep hugely underrated when it comes to the overall progress of an athlete or just general bodybuilder lifter when they're trying to see gains if you're not sleeping well it's going to really interrupt your body's ability to repair recover and get you ready for the next session and take care of all the damage you did in the last session which means you're not going to be really making any progress off the last session you're just going to be stacking damage and that stack of damage it's eventually gonna cost you. So, when we're talking about Sandman here and its ability to help you sleep, it's got a couple great ingredients that I really love that help with that fact. The first one being the KM66 Ashwagandha, which is an extremely high potency, the highest potency version of Ashwagandha extract that is out there. So it's gonna really help calm you, bring down cortisol levels is going to help with stress management, which is often what's helping a lot of keeping a lot of people from sleeping in the first place, not helping them. Stress does not help you sleep. Anybody out there whose stress helps them sleep? I don't know if I want to meet that person. That's a weird person. I mean, I'm not trying to judge, but that just doesn't seem normal. Anyhow, point is the KM66 Ashwagandha is going to help reduce stress, bring them down so you're not feeling so edgy and it'll allow you to get a nice, good, restful sleep. But in case that's not enough, we also have zinc and magnesium, which are very common stacks, especially nowadays that you'll find in a lot of supplement stores to help people get proper sleep. Zinc and magnesium are extremely helpful for helping someone get the, the appropriate restful sleep they need over the course of the night. And so Sandman, it's bringing it in spades. Great dosages on all of those uh, that I've mentioned and all the others that are in there as well. It also has lemon balm and chamomile to help with really helping you get that extra good sleep. Those are also ingredients that you see all the time. Chamomile, there's a reason that it's been such a staple tea in every single grocery store since like your grandma's time. Your grandma likes a chamomile tea because it chills her out. It's like weed for old people. Let's be real about it. It's old people weed. That's what they do to like chill out at night. Tell me I'm wrong. You can't do it. Anyhow, it also contains melatonin. And for those of y'all who don't know about melatonin, melatonin is produced already by your body, but sometimes you don't produce enough of it or you produce it at the wrong times. There can be a lot of different irregularities when it comes to an individual's production of melatonin. Point is when you have it supplemented, it helps allow you to get to sleep better. So, I mean, you've heard the combination here. We have a solid combination of ingredients here, all meant to help promote an extremely deep and restful sleep. And I gotta say, while I was taking Sandman, I was crashing hard and staying down and it was fantastic. And now I'm out and I'm sad. So, you know, I'm gonna have to figure that out, but that's my problem. Point is, I figured it was worth giving them a shout out and talking about these products. So if you happen to be in the market for something to help you with sleep, couldn't recommend Sandman enough. I, again, the ashwagandha is more than enough reason to get into this one because most people don't really know how powerful and potentially beneficial ashwagandha could be to their overall lifestyle and improving their, their quality of life. So if you ain't in on it yet, 
Sandman. Get some good rest, and I the lifts will be better. I can pretty much guarantee that one. And if you're looking for a protein, I know that the uh, the market's kind of gone up on in terms of price, but honestly, when it comes to taking a protein and not feeling like you want to sit on the porcelain throne for the next like four hours or whatever, I I cannot recommend Hydro Pro enough for that. Anyhow. That'll do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it educational, entertaining. I hope you guys got something from this. Have you guys tried either of these two products? If you have, let me know. Shout out in the comments below. Just tell me about it. Tell me about your experience. I'd love to hear about it. If you guys have used something similar, especially to the Sandman, I'd love to hear about that. Again, comment section. And of course, stay shining, because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace. Peace.